one of the important questions that are commonly asked is how or ways to develop main stack project. Developing a main stack project can be approached in a several styles or methodologies, each with its unique flow and focus. And here are some of the ways to start and develop a main stack project. The first one is front end first approach, back end first approach, feature by feature approach, MVP, and that is minimum viable product approach, full stack integration, agile methodology, and test driven development. Let's begin with the front end first approach. First of all, we start with the React front end to create the user interface. We build out the UI components and views first without worrying about the backend. And we use mock data or static JSON to simulate backend data. And one advantage for this is that it is useful for projects where user experience and interface design are critical. Next step is that once the front end is visually and functioning well, then we develop the back end and database to support it. And this is what we call front end first approach. For back end first approach, we begin by setting up the back end with Node.js and Express. And then we create a RESTful API or GraphQL endpoint first. And we use tools like Postman for testing APIs. And one advantage is that this is ideal for data driven applications where backend logic and data handling are the core. Next step is that after the backend is robust and tested, and then we develop the React front end to consume the APIs. Then feature by feature development. For this one, we build one complete feature at a time, integrating both front end and back end. For the workflow, we choose a feature, then we build the back end API for it, then create the front end interface that interacts with that API. And one advantage is that it keeps the development focused and manageable, allowing for testing the whole system feature by feature. The next step is that after each feature is completed, we move on to the next and gradually building up the full application, then MVP, and that is minimum viable product approach. For the workflow, we develop a basic version of the application with core functionalities, ignore advanced features and details initially. And one advantage is that it allows us to quickly get feedback on the core idea of your application. And the next step is that we iterate based on feedback, adding more features and refinements over time. And then full stack integration. For the workflow, we develop the back end and the front end at the same time, but this one often requires more planning and coordination. One advantage for this approach is that it is good for teams where different members can work on different parts of the stack simultaneously. The next step is that continuous integration and testing to ensure all parts of the stack work seamlessly together. And then agile methodology. For this one, we focus on the iterative and incremental development. For the workflow, we divide the project into small sprints with specific goals, and then we regularly review and adapt plans. For the advantages, it is flexible, adaptive to changes, and allows for continuous improvement and feedback. And next step is that we regular sprint reviews and iterations to refine and expand the project. And lastly, test driven development. For this one, we focus on writing tests before writing the actual code. And the workflow is that 
we write unit test first, then write code to pass this test, refactor as needed. And one advantage is that it ensures code reliability and reduce bugs. And next step is that continuing development with testing as core parts of the workflow. As you can see, each approach has its own merit and can be chosen based on the project requirement, team composition, and then the individual's preferences of the developers involved. Often, a combination of these methods is used to best suit the project needs. So in this course, we are going to use feature by feature approach. Let's continue in the next video.